What's up everyone, Shadow to Tony, and you're probably saying, what are we doing back in Morph Moth stage? Well, in case you guys remembered, um, I was unable to get the heart tank of the level because I did not have Crystal Hunter. You need Crystal Hunter to do this. Bam. Anyways, you come up there, you get that, we got the heart tank, and let's get the out. This episode is going to be your collecting episode, by the way, guys. We're going to be collecting our stuff that we need, and then we're going to continue on, if we have time. So basically, if you already know where everything is, and you just wanted to watch this, then, you know, you can just skip ahead now to the next episode. Unless there's something that happens in this episode, I don't know. Who knows, something might happen. You don't know that. Anyways, last time we got the epicness that is the buster upgrade and the leg, the air dash. Bam! Mofo. Alright, I think we actually got the heart tank here, so, um, you know. How can this thing still survive without its face? Sooner it is. After doing this, you wanna switch to the bubble crab thing. Huh? Ah, run away. Anyways, do this. And you can do... Oh, by the way, guys. Don't mean to offend anyone here, but I have to, I have to say this. I am God! I can jump on water! <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. I can't walk on water. You can only jump on water. So it doesn't really work there. But anyways, enough jumping on water. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else to collect? I'm not sure. I know there's supposed to be sub-tanks. Let me see. Overdrive Ostrich. Wheel Gator. Crystal Snail. Uh, I don't really remember. I know there's a sub tank here. There might be a sub tank here. Yeah, there. I know. Uh, yeah, the, never mind. The last two sub tanks are in these. The bosses. All right, never mind. We got this, guys. Flame Stag. By the way, Flame Stag. By the way, has one of my favorite, favoriteest, 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 favoriteest boss weapons to charge up and use because it's so super epic and sexy so anyways what you want to do is you want to make this come up here and hey like a sub tank oh yeah you might you know I have this spin wheel out by the way and you want to hug this wall and that happens anyways well, we don't technically need the spinning wheel just yet, but, you know. It's, you can use it for that. But what you want to do is run, 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 run. Run like a mother frecker. No, no. The lava is an instant kill, but I just don't want to get hit by it, by the way. Anyways, so that we got through that. See, look, this is why I really love this. The air dash. Yeah. By the way, this is where the bomb... One of the things would be. And, oh, that was a fail. And I'm scared that that lava is instant death, so I'm just gonna, you know, get up here. God, I hate this part. Alright, this part's really annoying because of this enemy that comes up here. Sets these things on fire and hurts you, and half the time, it literally just does that a lot. Just look at it. It's really annoying. It's nearly impossible to dodge. Like, right here, look at this. Look how tight this is here. And it's going to get even tighter right here. Look at that. Whose idea was it to make this stage? Or at least that part of the stage. Alright. So, we're going to need the bubble shot. Flame Stag, in my opinion, is one of the easiest boss if you have its weakness. Because look at this. Watch what we're going to do, guys. Alright. So, just like, um, Sigma from the first game, he does this epic, he does this little thingy. 
Okay, just keep doing this. Look at this, this is seriously all you have to do. That's all you have to do, guys. <laughs> all you have to do is charge it up and jump. And if you don't, and if you don't have the charge up, then just keep holding the shoot button while jumping. Really easy, really awesome. We got the speed burner. Oh gosh, I love it. I love the charge shot, by the way. Or the charge of it. You also need the charge thing to actually get a wet dumb. I believe it's either the sub tank or the heart tank for Magnus Centipede stage. Oh god, I'll skip. Alright. I'm gonna switch to it right now just so I can show you one the reason I love ab about it. Look. Come on. Let me just. Ready? Come on. Because you can do this. Not yet. No! Leave me alone! No! Alright, alright. You can do this! Look at that. Dang it, I messed that up. Alright, that's kinda hard. This one's kinda hard to get. Because you have to. There we go. As soon as you get the heart tank. The sub tank is later down the road, but we'll get to that. Ah, well, that was a fail. By the way, this game, this level has can be, can lead to some really cheap deaths at certain point if you don't react quick enough. All right, here it is, guys. All right, all right. There we go. And we get the sub tank. Oh god. Guys, wireframes. You wanna switch to the spin wheel for this? No, stop charging. The spin wheel truly is the ideal weapon for this boss, by the way. So look at that. Look at that. He's dead. He's dead. He's gonna be dead. Anyways. Dang, I almost forgot this part of the stage existed because we're gonna be going through here again later. Except it's not as long. Like that part, that mini boss, the part we come to when we come here again, that's where it ends at the mini boss. Or there is no mini boss actually. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to quickly get up and don't let that thing scan you. Otherwise, this boss will be harder. So, anyways, if that thing scans you, it will, like, uh, like, get near this boss or do whatever and make it stronger. You see here? He, in, um, if you let him do that, he actually shoots up, too. And I don't know what happens if you let him, if you let it scan you more than once. Because it can scan you more than once. I only, the only times, it, I, it's only ever scanned me one at a time, so, you know, I don't know what happens if you let it scan you more than once. And I don't think I want to know what happens. So, you know, if you have the charge shot, this boss is a, pu is a total pushover, really easy, dead. Probably be easy if you use the spin wheel, but, you know, I just, I just use that. Oh, God. No. Facing, no! Oh, God. Yeah, you see, like I said, some cheap deaths from those block things. Alright, guys. I'm going to thank you guys for watching. And next episode, we're going to take on Magnus Centipede, who, will be, who is our final Maverick. So, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, you know, give me a like. And if you want, you can comment and other stuff. Thanks for watching. Next, see you guys next time. Bye.